The Morgan Brothers are one of the most successful fertilizer operations in all of South Australia. In 100 bloody acres, it's time to up the formula. Instead of using dead bodies, it's time to use live bodies. And the younger Morgan brother happens across three stranded students looking for a good time. This movie is a gut buster and a bloodbath all at the same time. And I just found it to be original and pretty damn funny. I love how this movie just starts. There's no big prologue. You know immediately what the brothers are up to. So when our stranded travelers are kidnapped, this movie gets really tight, really intense, and pretty damn funny all at the same time. Our three kidnappees are gonna try to escape. They're gonna try and make deals with the bad guys, and one of them is gonna, well, he's gonna drop a lot of acid. Because that's what you need in a slasher film. You need to drop a lot of acid and just freak out. The heart of this film is just like the elusive bloody recipe that the film's based on that, you know, fertilizer. It's perfect chemistry. That's what matters in here because we have comedy. We have actors and actress and story that are built to make us laugh in front of fear. That's the other side of that equation. We have a bloody horror story at the same time because trust me, human bodies don't become fertilizer unless they go through, well, a big meat grinder. The next time you find yourself driving through that beautiful South Australian countryside, do not think of 100 bloody acres. Get it out of your mind and just enjoy those gorgeous surroundings. But if you're at home, sitting on the couch, maybe checking this out on your phone, please think about 100 bloody acres and put it in your queue right now. Trust me, it's hilarious and gross all at once. But let me give you another piece of advice. If you're being chased by two Australian rednecks who want to chop your body up for fertilizer, do not drop acid. It will not end well.